19,132 take away 19,062. Well, 2 from 2 is 0. 6 from 13 is 7. 70 miles in two hours. Oh. Mike, that you? No, it's me. And where do you think you've been? Right, on the motorway. You? On the motorway? Yeah, I passed my test, haven't I? I can drive anywhere now. Head examiner wants his head examined. Had your dinner? Yes. Where's mine then? On the cooker. Ah, oh, top. That's my jungle juice. I'm taking Elsie to a party. You want to watch yourself? Why? Well, with that stuff on your face and a couple of drinks inside you, I won't give much for your chances. And what is that supposed to mean? Well, we'll find out one of these days. Uh, we did a steady 70 all the way here from Brighton. Oh, yeah? How far is it? 70 miles. We did it in two hours. You did a steady 70 for two hours? And you only travelled 70 miles? That doesn't make sense. Why not? Well, look, if you go at 70 miles an hour, that means you do 70 miles in one hour, right? Yeah. Now, if you do a steady 70 for two hours, that's twice 70. Two sevens are 14, 140 miles. Oh, that's true. Another way of looking at it, it's 70 miles to Brighton. And if you travelled the whole way at 70 miles an hour, you'd be back here in one hour flat. Well, we did uh, 70 on the motorway. Come to think of it, we're only on it half the time. We had to get out of Brighton first, and then we had to go through the middle of London. If we did 70 miles in two hours, what's that in one? Half a 70, of course. Half a 70? Well, half of 60 is 30, and half of 10 is 5, but that's 35. Not only 35 miles in one hour. That's your average speed, taking into account that you go slow as well as fast. Average speed, 35. Mm. Well, it don't sound much when you put it like that. How do I look? Good, I can't bear it. Mm. Here, give my love to Elsie. I only hope you can uh, run faster than she does. Away they go. Richter went well on the near side and also going well as Sheevers in the middle of a Cuba and Sheevers and Cuba leads. Richter on the near side. These two clear and coming through. It's Cheeseborough of America. And also there, Lashford of America. The winner, Richter, second Ashford, third Cheeseborough. And a very, very close thing for the fourth place in the final. Round Clough for the last time. And even now, over 150 miles an hour. And finally into Woodcote down to about 85. Superb control. He's done it. He's there. James Hunt has won the British Grand Prix. And at an average speed, we make it of about just over 130 miles an hour. A fantastic average speed, horse. 130. Oh, hello, Elsie. Good morning, Mike. Isn't it a beautiful morning? Is it? Sam told you the wonderful news. But he came in late. I haven't seen him. He's asked me to marry him. Oh. Asked you? Last night, after the party. We were finishing some scraps off from the buffet table, and suddenly he said, Elsie, love, why can't we be partners? Why can't we share everything from now on? And I said, yes, Sam, of course I will. Oh, you would? I mean, you, you wouldn't turn him down, would you? Oh, no. Uh, shall I call him? No, let him sleep. He needs to keep his strength up. He'll need that, all right. You can give him a message for me. Tell him I've gone to Thornton to see Mummy and Daddy. I want to give them the news right away. Are you Mum and Dad? Yeah, I'm getting the 9.30 train to Bletchley. I'll take a bus from there. I should be in Thornton by 11. OK, I'll tell him. Think of it. You'll be my grandson. Think of it. Morning, Grandad. Isn't it a beautiful morning? Is it? Yeah. I've got a message for you from Elsie Kimball. Elsie? She told me the wonderful news. News? What news? That you're going to marry her. I'm going to... What's the matter? <laughs> 
Do you know, for the minute, I thought you said that I was going to marry Elsie Kimball. Marry Elsie Kimball, that's not easy now, careful. Marry Elsie? We told you last night at the buffet table. At the buffet? <laughs> I know, you see, she took the last slice of cream cake. Now you said, can't we be partners? Can't we share everything together from now on? And she said, yeah. I meant share the cream cake. Hey, you don't think that she thought that I meant yeah, share the rest of my life? Oh, my God. Don't say I didn't warn you. She's got it wrong. I've got to tell her, where is she? She's gone to Fulton to tell her parents. Uh, but, what, George and the Dragon? Oh, once she's told him, I'll never get out of here. Oh, too bad. I, I've got to stop her. No, it's too late to stop her. Hey? Well, she's catching the 9.30 train. It's 9.15 now. She'll be there by 11. Oh, Michael. Help me. How can I help? You've got a bike. Get to Faulkner before she does. Ask for uh, George Kimball's cottage. Anyone tell you where it is? I mean, get there before she goes in. How can I get a Faulkner before she does? She's going by train and bus. Yeah, well, it's a stopping train and the bus takes ages. You said she wasn't going to be there till 11. Faulkner? I don't even know where it is. It's near Bletchley. Where's your map? Oh, here it is. Oh, go on. Oh, that's my door. Oh. There, look. There's Bletchley. There's Faulkner. How long will it take you to get there? Well, how far is it from Watford? It's 45 miles. Well, I'll have to go through the towns. I won't average much more than 30, will I? So how long will it take you to do 45 miles at 30 miles an hour? Well, uh, 30 miles in one hour, what's left? Uh, take 30 from 45, that leaves 15 miles. How long will that take? Yeah, well, I mean, uh, 15 is half of 30, and if you do 30 miles in one hour, you do 15 miles in half an hour. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. One hour plus half. Now, I could be there in an hour and a half. Right, now, if you start now... No, no, hang you could be... I've got to get petrol from the garage first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could be ready at 9.30. All right, 9.30, add on hour and a half, so that's 9.30, add on one hour, that's 10.30. Yeah. Add on half hour, that's 11... You can make it! Just about. Yeah, but tell her it's a mistake. Tell her that... No, I'm... hang, hang about. This is your funeral. <laughs> Sorry, wedding. <laughs> you can tell her all that when you get there. Yeah, how can I get there by 11 o'clock? On the back of the bike. Me? On the bike? Oh, never. I can borrow Jim's crash helmet from the garage. I'd rather be married. Please yourself. No, no I wouldn't. Oh, God. <laughs>